They say podcasts are going to replace books. I don't know about that. But I do think TRS clips will assist your learning process. Uh, 3D printing organs. Mm. That's another one. Yeah. That's coming up. Like 3D printing is getting better and better constantly. Yeah. Jose Coaco. Yeah. Joe's. He gifted me that Groot which is lying behind us. Is that's that a, 3D printed? Yes. Oof. So that's just the beginning of 3D printing bro. Amazing. I recently read an article of somebody uh, 3D printing a human ear. Mm. And it's an actual human ear. You, when you say human ear, you mean with the eardrum, with everything? No, the external ear. Okay. So just this part. Okay. But it has actual cartilage in it. Which means that after that, if it gets injured, if I get a small cut, it will heal. Mm. So we are there. What's the raw material for that? Uh, too complicated. Like a lot of biocellulose and yeah. With some stem cell masala? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Inch of stem Did cells. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do this. How the fuck do you come up with like organ raw material, dude? Yeah. But that's that's where we are. We are. I think we are five, six years away from 3D printing a liver or a heart. It's also a hope for uh, the world's non-vegetarians. <laughs> because yeah. you can you believe that's print, not meat? Yeah. Mm, 3D print a nice chicken patties. Correct. Uh, mm. Without killing chicken. Yep. Vegans will be very conflicted. Mm, I don't think I think they'll be happy they'll be happy yeah, yeah dude like just, even since I've gone vegetarian the one there's two downsides to going vegetarian mm -hmm. one's loss in like muscle and mm -hmm. size and I no matter how many vegetarians bat for the fact that mm -hmm. you know oh no strength is the same it's not okay like, explosive strength is less mm. and the second one is lack of options in food mm. like uh, and, and there'll be some happy vegetarians out there who'll say no you need to try food with me there's no lack but there is a lack yeah, they have done that right like they have uh, they have those beef that is not beef, which apparently yeah, yeah. tastes exactly so the I same. So I had that at, in Dubai right now. It's called Impossible, Impossible Burger. Impossible Burger. Yeah. Correct. I swear to God, it tastes just like red meat. Crazy. It, you can't tell the difference. Crazy. Crazy. Uh, but uh, the case against that from non-vegetarians or the meat lobby, mm -hmm. like the animal husbandry lobby all over the world mm -hmm. is that uh, you don't know what they're putting inside, which is also true. Because yeah. I believe in the ingredients, they write some code word and they write just like comma stabilizer that stabilizer mm. could contain a bunch of whatever things. it is yeah so no one really knows what's inside and and these uh, beyond meat and impossible meat people have not come out and said that listen we have these things yeah, yeah. i also believe they were they successfully made stem cell uh generated meat like they made prawns or something yeah. but it's very expensive yeah uh like it was very expensive to produce and all that so, right. but there is hope for non-vegetarians who don't want to kill for food so technology is a rate limiting factor. The possibility is a rate limiting factor. Price is going to come down of everything. Mm. It is that first initial leap that is the most difficult. Once you know that it is possible and uh, the market realizes that there is a market for it, price is going to come down. So mm. 3D printing, definitely the next best, the next big thing. Mm. Somebody 3D printed a bridge. Mm. I think in China, mm. they built an entire bridge out of 3D printed materials. Mm. So see, this is another technology that doesn't get spoken about in this hype of metaverse mm. and NFTs and all. Yeah. That's the kind of uh, technology that's popping in the world right now because it's near social media and it's near fintech. The industries right. that are already very central to our lives. Yeah. You have anything to say about metaverse? A lot actually, uh, but let's let's do one more uh, one more minute on 3D printing. Sure. We are 3D printing is a way of decentralizing production. Too complex a thought. All right. The way I think about it is usually what happens, there is a company. The company will produce a, produce a shoe, mm. produce a phone, produce whatever it is. There is a distribution chain, logistics. Uh, there's a truck, there's a mm. delivery guy. It'll come to your place. Gotcha. 3D printer at home. In every home, all you have to do is to download the software and you 3D print whatever it is that you want is a crazy future to think about. Yeah. So there's no, there's no big industry. There's no big factory anywhere. Sabke ghar mein apna apna jo chahiye banao. Mm. Your experience of online shopping will change. You select it, it will be in your hand in a minute. Right there. Mm. My question always is what is the raw material here? Mm. I don't know. Is it some kind of plastics? Yeah. If yes, how does it affect the environment, etc. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. Again, then we're talking about 3D printing years. 
So will you pull out a baby's umbilical cord <laughs> and like throw it into the 3D printer? Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the entire episode and also check out this playlist that we've curated just for you.